Hey everyone. So, and I'm going to discuss what I have thought of my rigging system and I have just created some basic stuff, but this is the graph which basically describes how it's going to work out. It's similar to many other modular rigging system which I have seen. Uh one is from Cult of Rigging from I think Rafael and one more is there uh, not able to recall the name but there is one more rigging system which is similar to this uh so basically let's start with this so this is just a name of frost but I'm, I'm going to draw on my iPad so basically we have this module structure okay this is an example of a module structure um this is the global module um seems like the size or oh, this is way too big let's reduce this okay this is a global module okay this is our global module so every global module will have two network nodes actually all modules and sub modules will have two network nodes network input and network output so this global module will have one network in and one network out okay so uh how we are going to use this and this is so basically the meter scroll for a second Let's scroll here so basically if we have two modules one and two okay this is our for example this is our shoulder or uh, let's say this is our arm module and this is our hand module so to transfer any type of data from arm to hand we would use network nodes between them so we can easily track the things and easily extract data from each of them so here we will use the output node of arm and here we will use the input node of hand and similarly we can pass data to all the other modules so basically how we're going to use this is um let's let's get back there one second yeah so basically first we'll have the world matrices as i have written here maybe it's a bit hard to read let's zoom it out a little bit we just need just need this much yeah so here what i have written is uh, in matrices from other modules um or nothing if if it's a world module and like it doesn't need any input in the module okay so this what it will do is this module's base global input okay it will send the world matrix positions or whatever the po that those matrices to the first of all to the guide so let's go back once more little here so basically a main global module or uh, just say a module this is our module this will have first of all it will have a guide so basically it's a active guide rigging system let me just scroll it out a little bit yeah okay okay so give mm, me my rating is really bad so this will have guide then it will have controls and scale and then miscellaneous okay so basically guide, this is an active guide rigging system which means like we can always change the position of the guides and just uh, rebind the skin so the controls are always connected to the guides um kind of like i'm not able to remember an example but for example in advanced skeleton we rebuild the guides right we don't need to rebuild the guides in this it's directly it's always there we can remove these and this whole setup will always work but what i mean is uh, we don't need to okay so it's it's for our ease so we don't need to rebuild this again and again 
once a rig is completed we can just adjust the guide or change the position of the guides which will we like transfer to this okay so what i was saying was this will have two networks as i said input and output uh, so all the guides will transfer their wall matrices to this output and then we will transfer this to the input of sorry let's sketch back a little bit here this will have these two input and output so we will transfer all the outputs to the inputs here we will have our controllers which will use these guide inputs matrices and then they will transfer their positions to the output okay then same for the skeleton and stuff okay let's get let's go back here so again oh sorry yep so scroll zoom on okay yes yeah, so as i was saying so we transfer our world network input matrices to the network in of the guides then this network in is used in the guides this guide one guide two whatever and then we transfer these positions to the network out okay then this network out this transfers the position to network in of the controllers then controllers are created okay and then this passes to the network out of this the network out of controls module and similarly this goes to miscellaneous as well and to the skeleton network in as well okay so when we do this then we'll create a uh, skeleton according to that and the skeleton position can also be put to network out then this can go to network in and doesn't matter and basically whatever the setup is done then after that uh, what we'll do is we'll take the main of this and put it to network out so basically the end controllers or controllers which need to pass their matrices or the attributes for example ikfk switch and things like that uh, they will be transferred to the network out of the base module so we can transfer all the things we need to transfer from the sub modules sub modules let's clear this a bit uh is entire stroke let's clean this second 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 is it gone yep mm, change the color so mm, this here so after all this is done this module main will transfer all the objects which all the matrices attributes and everything like that to other modules how by this our main network out okay so this will transfer all the stuff to other modules so basically all these sub modules one two three and four will transfer all their data if it needs to go out to the network output and this network output will do the rest of the job okay so let's see an example in maya just a sec uh, let me just minimize this 